So today we're gonna have a look at the Soft Synth Surge. It's super easy to use and it makes some pretty great sounds. On top of that, for making use of Lumitone's microtonal mappings, it doesn't get any easier than this. So today, let's go over integrating the Lumitone with Surge's tuning editor. Okay, so in the last video, we went over how to tune Piano Tech to play nice with Lumitone's microtonal mappings. Today, we are gonna do the same thing for Surge. This is gonna be a quick one because Surge just works really well and efficiently. You know, it always just does what you tell it to do with minimal hiccups. So Surge XT is a open sourced soft synth that not only sounds great, but it is really intuitive to use. And the fine folks who are behind it are giving it away for free. So there really is no reason why you shouldn't at least be giving this thing a chance. All right, let's go ahead and just dive right in. So here's the main interface. You got three oscillators to work with and tons of options to tweak your little heart out. There's tons of different routing and effects options and assigning parameters to things like polyphonic aftertouch is super flexible. And it's a great way to take advantage of Lumitone's polyphonic aftertouch. I did an episode all about that if you'd like to know more, but today is really about its tuning editor. So if we go up to here where the button says tune, click that, open tuning editor. By default, we are set to 12 tone equal temperament. And this is the main section we can see our intervals are split up by 100 cents each. You can alter or write in your own tuning system right here with text if you so desire. But I think the best way to work with alternate tuning systems in Surge is to bring in tuning files. And it just so happens that Surge comes with a nice big old library of tuning files ready to use. So let's go down here where it says tuning library and give that a click. We can see that we've got a collection of Scala files and KBM files. When it comes to working with Lumitone mappings, these ED2 Scala files here will link up perfectly with your Lumitone's equally divided mappings. So let's use those. Let's say we wanna work with our 19 EDO preset mapping. Simply scroll down to your ED219 Scala file and give that a drag into your main window of the tuning editor. So now we can see we've got 19 intervals spaced at 63.16 cents each. We got a few different ways we can view this tuning. This left column here shows us where each note throughout the octave sits frequency wise. Down here in the edit mode, we can view radio mode which is not unlike the tuning wheel of Piano Tech. And we can tweak any individual note by ear if you want. Just hold down a note and start sliding. We can also view a couple of different graphs. This one shows the interval between notes. This graph shows interval to equal division. And this graph here shows the scale rotation intervals, which each roll reveals the intervals available from each starting point of the scale. And tweaks can be made to any of these graphs as well by just simply pulling and sliding. But tweaking aside, just by simply dropping in your Scala tuning file into the editor has you off and running and ready to play your 19 EDO preset. As I mentioned in the Piano Tech episode, there are Lumitone mappings that use multiple MIDI channels to lay out the notes. So let's take a look and see how Surge can recognize those. Okay, for this example, I'm gonna use a 31 EDO mapping created by Cam Taylor, who by the way, has a great YouTube channel and I highly recommend checking that out if you're thirsty for Lumitone content. 
I find his color scheme here to be really beautiful and inspiring to play. But the color scheme isn't the only way it differs from the Lumitone's original 31 preset. If we look here, we'll see he mapped each octave to a different MIDI channel, which is indicated as the top number on each key, with each octave actually using the same MIDI notes. So if we go into our tuning editor here and we head on down to the 31 Scala file, drop that in. Since it's using the same MIDI notes for each MIDI channel, off the bat, we're gonna get the same octaves across the board. But of course, this is Surge and it is an easy fix. Just head on up to the tune button here and you're gonna wanna right click it. And just head on down to where it says use MIDI channel for octave shift. Give that a click. And now this pretty 31 EDO mapping is ready to be played. So when building mappings with Surge in mind, it can be a good idea to, you know, make every octave up be on the next sequential MIDI channel. And there you have it. Just like the rest of Surge, the tuning function works super well and efficiently. And it has you making microtonal magic with the Lumitone basically out of the box. We're gonna continue looking at tuning different virtual instruments coming up here. So if there's any you wanna see covered, totally let us know. And until then, thanks for watching.